if Team Corruption gets a pinball or submission, they will become the War Wrestling Champion. But if Team Taylor wins, Matt Taylor will be five minutes low with Ripper Blackheart. This match will start with two competitors in the ring. Every 60 seconds thereafter, another competitor will enter the hole. Once all competitors have entered the cage, the official match begins. In order to attain victory, you must pin an opponent or make them submit. Dillinger, that is classic. Dusty Dillinger studying the belt. Always leave it to Ripper to be all class. By the way, if uh, that voice you hear sounds a little bit different, it's not Ripper Blackheart and it's terrible, terrible dress. That would be a World Wrestling Hall of Famer. Right. Thank you, Michael McCormick. Cody, he should have been all over Dusty keeping him down. Up and over goes Cody Hawk. Bad body drop by Jimmy Shane. And it is interesting to think about now as he goes to work on Dusty. He didn't do what you're talking about. And you look over, oh, here comes Cody. You're just hoping that minute and a half, two minutes, comes off the clock quickly to get back to even if you're Jimmy. Right now, though, Jimmy Shane, I, I guess maybe youth is riding on his side right now. I mean, he's in control. Well, I was going to bring something up about the age difference, James. Uh, definitely Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's a little younger than these two. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. He 
experienced wrestlers, we're calling. A, a double Bronco Buster, a double Bronco Buster in the corner. Uh-oh. And Jimmy looks happy. He lasted a minute and a half well. He, he did well for himself. They don't call him the BMF for any particular reason other than he really is a bad mother. Dusty Dillinger is no little man. Yeah. He's trying to get out of here. Well, Dusty, uh, Dusty, uh, Dusty didn't enjoy that. And Dusty took a mighty fall. Jimmy Shane got thrown head first into Dusty. Yeah, that's an awkward way to do it. Yeah. Not the way you want to say hello. But this match is always fascinating to me because you get the advantage and disadvantage of. You kind of get, you talk about the older guys, I talk about Jimmy Shane, maybe youthful exuberance at times of, uh, all right, pace yourself in terms of that, this might be your guy, it might not. Right. I think you got to take into consideration with Dusty and uh, Cody starting this match for their team. How, being the first ones in this match, where is it going? Are they going to wear down quicker with their age? Because Father Time's no joke, I can contest to that. Is this is the guy. They just not back down. He does not wear down. And he just split Chiron open with steel chain as his first action in this match. And now he's choking Jimmy's chain with his chain. Unchained Brandon Day. Oh man, double axe handle with the chain. I was gonna say I thought he was unchained, Brandon Day. Well, and it's also kind of backwardly ironic in a way, or poetic. Jimmy Shane uses the Shane chain for years. And the first thing that happens to him is he nearly gets choked out by it by Brandon Day. Yeah. Well, right now I think Brandon Day is off the chain. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Nicely played, Thank you. sister. Ooh. As a guy who's been on the other end of those chops for Dusty Dillinger. Those are no joke, my friend. Not what you want. I have been, I was split open in Indiana by a Dusty Dillinger chop. Really? Wow. Yes, I've never let him forget it. Was that that uh, former Mexican restaurant he was a champion? <laughs> Something like that. I think Ripper told that story. I've been in a lot of towns in the end. I don't remember a lot of Game changer. Yeah, that couldn't have went any worse for uh, for Jimmy and Cryon. I have always said about him, I heard it best once described as a bowling bowl full of rolling knives. He just will come at you, come at you, come at you. And Craig Mitchell, he's not going to wear down. You said the older guys, the younger guys, the mix. One thing that I noticed in this match, which doesn't begin, by the way, technically, until everybody from both teams is in, but Chiron is split wide open. And Dusty, they're using Brandon Day's chain. Who? Of course, Ripper and Gino back there as well to lock the door. Well, Shane goes face first into the cage. Chiron now is getting a little bit of revenge on Day in the corner. You're talking about Craig Mitchell. I just, I think of him as an angry little gremlin. Just a ball of fury. Don't beat him after midnight. No. It's a ball of fury, and you don't want him to multiply. Now, the door is locked. There's a disadvantage. Mojo's going to have to climb into the cage. Or rip the door open. Well, that, he ripped the door open. Partially. Bojo McQueen trying to get into the cage is not able to as of yet. He might have to climb over. Another thing gained here by the four on two is now Cody and, and Dusty can just go at their own pace. They can just let the younger two take care of business while they rest up. Ripper just attacked Bojo from behind. Why? Because that's the only way he does things. What do he do? Exhale and shoot him with a button? He hit him with that that cane that he's walking around with. And he's so-called evil genius in professional wrestling. Well, Gino now. The yes. worst part about this, James, Gino's the guy taking the brunt of it with Mojo on the outside. Yeah, Gino is taking the punishment that should be given to Ripper. Yeah, Mojo needs to focus here. Gino's not even getting paid for this match. Leave Gino DeCrapo outside and get in the ring. I, I'm not sure that's how his name is pronounced. He might have added a lot. I think you missed the silent R. Well, we've got senior official Jay Cortez trying to unlock the cage. Matt Taylor doesn't need the door. He can go over. That cage.
Page is still partially chained, though. The referee trying to get it undone. A chance here. And decked out in all white. Three-year champ from what I heard earlier. He has been impressive. Again, really, he's had issues with everybody in and around the ring as Taylor climbs up at the top. But remember, a year ago, at the anniversary show, Mojo on the outside on the opposite end, being knocked down. It was Chiron he was fighting a year ago. Right. Those two settle their differences now on the same team, but Mojo, I guess, was the answer to who's the extra guy. Meanwhile, Craig Mitchell trying to break the fingers of Jimmy Shane on the inside of the ring. Well, Brandon Day tried to break one arm, and Craig tried to break the other one. Right, right. Effective strategy. Matt Taylor Definitely. and Mojo I McQueen that, uh, keep trying I to get in the that, uh, Taylor's had issues with Jimmy Shane in the past as well, so. But Taylor and McQueen, every time they try and climb the cage, they keep getting knocked off. Look at the shots thrown by Dusty as he knocks. The war wrestling champ on the floor. Keep in mind, again, that's what's on the line. If corruption wins, they get the war wrestling title. If they lose, that weirdly dressed leprechaun looking dude over there, the cue ball guy, he, he gets five minutes. Now they get five he, minutes with him. He's going to be pillar to post by Matt Taylor. Well, I don't think it'll take Matt five minutes to finish him. And I believe, actually, this is the second year in a row now where someone has had that exact stipulation. And it was Matt Taylor last year. Taylor, after the cage match, tried to take River out, and that's when all hell broke loose and really kind of the foundation for corruption began. Well, wait a minute, guys. Two ladders have now been brought by Taylor and Mojo, one on each side of the cage. They still have to successfully get over the cage yeah. when they get up there or not. Yeah. The only chance Ripper has in that five minutes is that it takes that it takes Matt Taylor five minutes to peel that jacket off of him. Something bad is about to happen. Cody Hawk climbing out to try and block Taylor. Brandon Day now as well. Jimmy Shane in the corner. Oh! Day falls unceremoniously on the rules. Now goes Dustin. He's on the top, 20 feet high. Crossbody takes down them all. Takes That's them all down. That's why this crowd loves him, boys. River hated it, crowd loved it. So now the, the only other problem, though, you see Mojo ripping at the door. The officials can't get out of the way quick enough, and he ripped it right out of the hand. Door is open. Super oh. kick party. It was a super kick party by Taylor, and now. Here comes the Voodoo King, Mojo McQueen. Now, are we still four on two with the other two being out, or are they going to be able to get back involved in this match? We're like a Death Valley driver right there. Oh. And a shotgun clothesline, Mojo. Right back down. Spear by Jimmy. I think Cryon's revving up in the corner, boys. Short pile driver. That's a Cody Hawk staple. Spinebuster, kind of. He wouldn't like that one. It's gonna get interesting. Wait, wait, German? Yep. Oh, look at Not Chiron. Very effective. Though. Look at Chiron. Pretty sure that you just pissed him off. Yeah. yeah. Into the cage. That's a 260 pound individual. He just did that. Oh, and he got speared in half. Say goodnight, Brandon. My place for Brandon Day to be. So Team Taylor now in full control. I don't know exactly where Matt's going. I can only imagine what he's got. He's got a litany of choices. I believe Craig Mitchell's gonna be the recipient. Yeah, double shot to the back of the head right there. I bet you, uh, One, bet two. you. Sweating a little bit. Look at him for backjacking. Yeah, mainly because of that ridiculous outfit. Mainly because of that ridiculous coat. 
Run your own, smart guy. Look what happens to you every single year. There goes the crapo with him. Security. Bad things are about to happen. Security Black going after Ripper. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the Hall of Famers. Hall of Famers helping out. It's the Hall of Famers. Dean Jablonski and Matt Stryker escorting Ripper Blackheart back to the ring. And he's lucky Matt makes his luck. Because otherwise he would be eating a super kick in addition to the one he's probably about to eat. Well, Chip Dusty uh, just exited the ring. Out goes Corruption. And now Cody. They'll get there. They got their wheelchairs waiting. Jablonski and Stryker earlier on inducted into the Hall of Fame. As you know, Mr. Dementia, they too wrestled here at war a long time ago and uh, they got inducted earlier on. They have now helped throw Ripper Blackheart back inside this cage with no escape. And you know he ain't climbing out. No, <laughs> no. Start the clock. No, oh, wait, he's, he's gonna, gonna try. try. Well, that's pretty impressive that he made it that far, boys. It is, yes, it is. I can't believe that Cody popped open. Oh, he's going to try. Well, he lost the best, to be fair. I am okay with this. Remember, a big reason of him spouting his mouth off is why he's bald right now. Listen, him spouting his mouth off for all these years is the reason he got escorted back to the ring by Dean Jablonski and Matt Stryker. I He's been irritating people here for as long as war has been around, just about. Has he made peace with it? Is he suicidal? It seems as if maybe he's going to fight. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to call and get him some help right now. Those seem to be suicidal thoughts. I want to make sure he has someone to talk to. He's not really going to try to fight Matt Taylor. I just want to <laughs> The answer is yes. Yes, and, and unsuccessful. That did not work. Oops. James is leaving. It's got a B. I, I think he wants to see this up close and personal is what the deal is. Maybe he's going to do an in-the-ring interview with Ripper Blackheart. How do you think that's going to go with Matt Taylor's foot in his mouth? It's not the first foot he's had in his mouth. They uh, have thrown in a chair. You know the best part about this is, is these fans are so st so sadistic that they love every single second of this. Ripper has lost his hair in this ring. Ripper has lost his dignity in this ring. Taylor just hit a home run that would have left Great American Ballpark. Y'all see how Puig would be proud of that swing. And Listen, for your I've, younger viewers, I've this is called Ripper karma. Up. I've beat Ripper up in that war ring multiple times myself, but never a beating like this has he taken. Has different personalities, I believe, too. Um, yeah, maybe. Ripper is, uh, I believe he's got three minutes left. He should have took his tie off slower. This should be his three minute warning. Oh, this is unfortunate. Again, for our younger viewers, if you're squeamish, please turn away from the television. I'm not younger, and I'm squeamish. Here comes Ripper into your living room. Oh, I think his breast stuck through the cage. Dude, even the cameraman hated that one. Again, <laughs> Matt Taylor's got two and a half minutes left of beating up Ripper Blackheart. And oh, the question becomes, no. does beating up River Blackheart ever get old? Didn't for me. And he's got a great view you see on the camera. This is the only time that J.O. would get into the ring. This is the only safe time for him. Oh, my lord. River Blackheart has irritated so many people that I believe that J.L. would even switch places right now with Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I firmly believe that. And what's great about it is Team Taylor, who has really uh, come into their own as individuals, but as a team together of a guy who have a common goal, they don't like River Blackheart. They're kind of standing guard to make sure nothing happens. Well, River's some, been historically bailed out. At some point in every one of these guys' careers, Ripper has screwed them over. Good night, Ripper. 
Taylor just broke him off with a double stop. Was that on the chair? Yeah, face first on what's left of that chair. What's left of his attire, all nine ridiculous layers of it. The sad so, part is that, that chair doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Neither did the one earlier. So the War Wrestling Champion reigning supreme here at War 16, a successful defense. It, you know, it kind of begs the question, can anybody ever stop Matt Taylor? I can't answer that question. What I can do is refer back to something I might have heard Ripper say a match or two ago. Clean up an aisle one. And two, and three, three, and four. There's a little bit of Ripper all over that ring. Wherever he, that sounds horrible. And wherever he bought his coat. The Hall of Famers are happy on the ring. Matt Taylor's happy. The fans are happy. That's not all the destruction of this show. The women's title's coming up in the main event. Absolutely, and that should be pretty exciting as well. And I don't think Matt oh, Taylor is Matt, done. don't soil your hands like that. Oh, he's still got more time. Bye, Ripper. Good insurance. I have to haul that carcass out of here. I have a feeling that picture that a lot of people are taking right now, River Blackheart, is going to end up being a meme. When it's time to go to sleep. Look, he looks like a little baby up there in the ring. Nearly cute. Is, is that the end of corruption? We'll find out. <laughs>